Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm showing you how to get the GTA 5 font. Now this font is actually also being used in previous version of Grand Theft Auto. So it'll be also just a tutorial on general how to get the GTA font. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr. And here as you can see on my Fiverr, you can get a logo or a banner or both for your YouTube channel if you want. But now back to the video. So we're going to jump right in. It's called Price Down. Font, there we go. I want to go to the first one. That font is a really good, reliable font size. So I'm just going to click this one. As you can see here, you already have an example. You can already imagine how it's going to look. So what you want to do then is go to download. To go up here in the right corner. And what you can do is show in folder. And as you can see here, it's in my downloads. But I'll actually put it in a folder where I put all my fonts. There you go. So I just put it in a folder here. So I'm just going to double click on this. And as you can see here, this file here. So it's open type font file. Which you will recognize by the little A in the corner here. Also known as a dot otf file so we're just going to double click it as you can see you're just going to do install this box will show up and as you can see if that's gone we can do exit here i'm just going to close all this and i'm going to show you in photoshop how it actually looks so i'm not doing anything crazy here this is a pretty basic thumbnail layout so we're going to go for 1920 by 1080 pixels which is 24 inch or so 24 inch screen but also the resolution on uh, youtube for thumbnails so the resolution here we're going to put on 300 make sure it's an rgb color i'm actually going to do black here for the background and then i'm going to click okay and also i'm going to simply go to the text here i'm going to search for the font okay so price down it's the one right here so now of course i'm going to type something like gta i'll make this bigger and white otherwise we don't see it now obviously we can also type grand theft auto then of course you can also do the words apart so that you can actually remake how it actually looks. And there we go. If you have these three words, you can actually just put them together in a group. So I'm just going to hold control. I'm going to select all three of them and I'm going to do control G. This will make a group. I'm just going to place this here. I think the theft would be around here. Unfortunately, it's going to be exactly. There we go. And then this one should be somewhere around here, I think. So there you go. It's not exactly, of course, how it would be. But as you can see here, here you have the uh, general idea. Now, if I zoom out here for a second, I'll just show you something extra here. Above group, I'm going to make a new layer. So that's down here. Zoom out once more. I'm going to make the color red here. It's around here, I would say. And I'm going to use the brush tool. And I'm just going to... We don't want it to be too big either. I think 2000 will do. So then just make sure it's something in the middle. You can do this more precise, but I'm just going to do it fairly quickly here. So it's not going to be exactly in the middle. And there we go. So now I'm going to zoom in again. Obviously, you have to put the text above the paint here. And there you go. And so what I wanted to show you is that you can click on the group. So you have to click on the group itself, not the layers individually, but on the group. And then you can add a stroke here. And as you'll see, well, it should be around 10 or 12, something around there. You can base yourself off the real logo once again. Just bring this a little bit down. And as you can see, this really is the general idea of how you could do it. No matter which scenario you want to use this in. There you go. It's going to place in the middle here. So as you can see, very simple. So as you can see, very easy to download and install the font. And also how to use it. So in any case, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.